What's going on everybody? My name is Will and today on the art show we have Black Candace. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> Black Candace brought some gorgeous pieces of her own from her collection to yeah. share with us today. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about, you know, maybe your favorite or um, one that means a lot to you. my most recent one. Yeah. Okay, so I painted this one. This was inspired by Astro World. Um, Great album. Yeah, it's a fantastic album. You should listen to it. <laughs> so, you know, I started off with his face. There's a photo of him on his Instagram that I really liked. It has like, um, red and pink hues that I tried to capture. And then the album cover, you know, the big balloon gold part. And then there's a picture, I don't know if it was a single or something, but there's a dog on there. I don't know what kind of dog it was, so I kind of like went on a whim. Oh, it's his, I think it's a Doberman. Is it? Okay, yeah, so I Googled Doberman. Dog. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. So I looked up Doberman and I tried to recreate a Doberman on yeah, that's here. that's a super dope dog. And um, I have some, Stop trying to be God quotes up there. Is that your favorite song? Yeah, it is. That is and you know, song. I knew it was Stevie Wonder on the harmonica before I read anything. And I was like, there's no way that it's not Stevie Wonder because he'd only work with the best. That was yeah. my logic. Yeah, and then like, I, it has, it has to, to be. be. I was like, like there's no <laughs> other way around it. Like, and then I was reading the like bio on iTunes and I was like, I knew it was Stevie Wonder. If you're watching this, Trav. Black Canvas has a dope piece you need to come pick yeah, up. Yeah, you gotta right come now. pick it up. <laughs> this is Julian. Then this is his twin back here. I don't know where this little guy came from, but I was painting and <laughs> I seen a. It was, it was already on the canvas somehow, and I just like chased it over. And I was like, wow, it looks like a man jumping. So I just cool kept that there. Thing. This one I created actually at the first show I ever curated. Um, what is this like two years ago? And what I did, I seen this image on Instagram and there were four people lined up and I decided to recreate. I don't know if they were actually doing, but doing it, but I decided to. So it was me and three other people and I started an image on the last person's back. Whatever they felt, they transferred over to the person in front of them back, so on and so forth. And then it led to me. So whatever I felt, I drew on here. And then after we finished getting like the basic of whatever I felt on my back onto here, I just started adding other things. So these are all brush strokes from things I felt from. So this is literally a tactile feeling that you just like yeah. I closed your eyes and just felt their brush strokes and yeah. felt the movement. And then afterwards oh, wow. I like added my characters and then I added this face. But everything else is what I felt. And and you were saying earlier that you don't have titles for any of these pieces necessarily. They're just kind of... If I post them online, if I'm submitting work, then I try to formulate a title so people could kind of zone in on what my overall theme is. Mm -hmm. Most of the time they're untitled. Because if I say untitled face you're immediately only going to see a face forever yeah that's what art's about kind of you know just interpretation a i like hearing people's interpretations interpretation. i'm like i didn't see that before but you know i'll run with it <laughs> i like that yeah that's exactly it so black canvas yeah we've seen a couple of your pieces <laughs> here but um the real question is would you like to do a collaboration piece with yeah me today? down a yes <laughs> <laughs> That was not yeah. planned. <laughs> so we're gonna head to the art store. Okay. Um, and then from there we'll kind of just pick out some paints, pick out some supplies, and uh, get a canvas and do okay. the whole thing. Come yeah. back here. Let's, Let's do get it. rolling. Well, I've been painting my whole life. Um, sketching, painting. I've always put artwork up in our house and stuff. Um, but never too, too seriously. I moved up north, went to school, and I would paint, but I didn't I didn't really dive into, I guess you could say, like my own style. Like I kept trying to make pieces that were representative of something specific so people could understand it. When I moved back down, I was still painting, but not as heavy as I am now. And then my, she's like my big sister. And it's funny, she gave me my first opportunity, opportunity to live paint. And my mom was the first person to ever give her, um, I mean, pay for a commission painting from her. Oh. Like her first biggest, her first commission and like biggest, um, my mom gave her that opportunity and she mm -hmm. gave me that opportunity like years later. That's and so I live awesome. painted in Long Beach. I've only been live painting since like last, the end of February, last early March. Mm -hmm. 
back to back every week Damn. you know sometimes it'll be five times a week and I was doing all this for free because it was my first time like I didn't know like yeah. I was just like okay I'll come I like um, I sometimes I watch videos or short films or um, little snippets people post on Instagram or YouTube or Vimeo and I'll do still shots and I'll get inspired by certain images or certain movements that they're making I really feel like there's no rules I feel like you know they have this you know level of like okay these are um, more expensive paintings these are cheaper paintings but I'm like I don't feel like there's any rules when you're creating and I feel like whichever one you feel best fits you should use well I'm getting this oh please hours. join me for my art show <laughs> me and Bob will be showing you how to draw Los Montañas <laughs> <laughs> myself literally developing artists just creating platform after platform after platform and just placing them where I feel they are a best fit until they grow just as a visual artist myself I just want to keep creating and just having like soul exhibits and really challenging myself for like myself with photography, videography, um, and traveling to work with other artists. Kanye is a huge inspiration for just, so many people tell him what you can't do, and then you wind up doing it, and then people are like, wow, that's so fucking dope. started painting more often I really started experimenting with my actual own style and I kind of stopped caring in a way whether or not other people would understand it or not it looks cool okay they look friendly like he's giving him a high five <laughs> Ooh. so we have finished our beautiful collaboration painting, uh, <laughs> Me and Black Canvas. Um, what do you have to say? Any last words about this piece? Um, I enjoy doing this. This is super exciting. Well, I guess I'll just say I added pink. He was with pink for breast cancer awareness. And yeah, this is tight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really big on colors. That's I yeah. think, my favorite thing about this is all the different colors that mm -hmm. we incorporated into it. I think our styles mesh really nicely together. Honestly, I, I, yeah. So with that being said, that is the end of today's episode on the art show. I want to mm -hmm. thank you guys again for coming thank and watching. You. And thank you again <laughs> for being here and being thank the lovely you. guest that you are. Thank you. This is an awesome platform. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to uh, say? Any plugs you want to get? You know, your tags on Instagram and stuff. Uh, yeah, you can follow me. Black Canvas. B-L-A-K-K-A-N-V-A-S. And uh, thank oh, you. Oh, before we go, before we go, though, we do have a gift for you. Something from us here at the show to just this show our appreciation. Gift. <laughs> the and the gift is right here. Wow, so if thanks. You may. Is it an avocado? <laughs> <laughs> Is it an avocado? I hope it's an avocado. How am I, how do I use this? How do I use this? Honestly, I know, I feel like I can figure out a way. What yeah, is this? Yeah, you got something. I am gonna use this as a writing tool. Yeah. Here we go, look. Damn. You're the first person I think who's used the random gift. Really? Gave. Yeah. So I mean, I feel like I could use this. That's <laughs> I like I genuinely. We I'm need to get more random. I'm a, I'm a new guy. No. <laughs> and that is a wrap. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
these were supposed to be tits, but then it looked like an alligator. So I might erase my, yeah, do your thing. Exactly, exactly, yep. Titties. <laughs> there are the titties back.